this person got married to my friend. So just recently, something happened. I was shocked. So after he forwarded the pictures, I was like, God, I need to keep away from this guy. I told him, look, you're dangerous. Burn it. I am not interested. I don't care how you're living your life. I really don't care. My crocs. Since all man are chief man for the country. I think. Are you serious? They collected somebody's phone. Here. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Guess where I am? I am in a club, France. So I came very late, all the students left. So the other people you're seeing, they just came. I was just enjoying this tranquility here. And then these other people came. So they are not students, they are here to swim. So let me show you what is going on here. So here you have the swimming pool. It is so big, but today I feel like the swimming pool was a little bit dirty. This is what is going on over here. So that is a kid part over there, you see. I know, uh, yeah, so this is where I have to change. I don't like it. Oh, it's so local. Oh, I need to put this down here. I need to take shower over there. I'm done taking shower. So, uh, aloe vera lip moisturizer. It's time to go. I just finished taking shower and uh, I wash all the nastiness off my body. Okay, I'll take it all over again. So this is Club France. The kids swimming pool is right this way. So this is adult swimming pool, so big. And then you have this other side, so you can have your party here. Uh, yeah, you have this nice table, nice setup, nice chairs. Then you have this little bungalow here where they are selling stuff. So you can get like a drink or something there. So I'm going to walk while we talk, okay? I don't like the noise here. Like I said, all the students left. So these other people, they just came to to swim you know yeah just to enjoy and have fun so the last time i said something and it is like so many people did not get me i was talking about my story my previous relationship you know with my american husband let me show you down here let me show you over there oh my gosh i'm breathing so fast you guys let me go up here first I said something and so many people did not get me and they were like, oh, you need to finish the story. I thought I was done already, done and dusted. So I talked about my previous relationship, my American husband. So I said he got married to this person that knew I was in the picture, you get. So she knew about me, but now this person, they grew up together with my ex, you get. So they grew up together, the two families knew each other and they already had this uh, mindset that they were going to get married, you get. So the first time I heard about it is when I visited his mom and uh, there we are talking about it, you know, like, oh, he was going to marry this girl and I asked him about it and he concurred, you know. So I asked him like, okay, your family, I heard them talking about blah, 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 blah. And he was like, oh yeah, this person, you know, the both families, they wanted us to get married right from the time we were young, but I am not interested, you know. And I was like, okay, because we were dating, you get. So he was like, oh, I'm not interested, you know. And I said, okay. And actually that is the truth. Okay, there we are not dating, but there we are friends. There we are communicating, you get. And she was in London. So I was with him one time and this girl asked for my picture because there we are friends. Remember they grew up together somehow, I don't know. So she asked for my picture and he forwarded my picture to her and she was like, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh my God, you love nice things, you get. So it was this kind of scenario. Anyways, fast forward. He told me about it, you know, like when they divorced, you know, they ended up divorcing and he told me about it like, oh, the family deliberately sent her to America, you know, in the same area where he was so that they could like fraternize and get married, you get. And that is exactly what happened. So they got married. So he told me after the divorce that it was her family arrangement you know, to send her to America because she was in London. But anyways, have it in mind that I don't care. This is the first husband 
and there is a second husband and I'm still going to tell the story, okay? Like I mentioned on my video, you know, I said to myself that no matter the roadblocks, no matter the life punches, I will keep moving forward. So I am very prudent when it comes to my future, like my future prospect, okay? I'm very prudent, but when it comes to relationships, oh my goodness, I don't have standards when it comes to relationship, you know? I'm not like this picky person, and sometimes I think it is good to be picky, you get? Because growing up, all those who are picky, like, oh, I cannot date this guy, oh, I cannot marry this kind of guy, they are fine, you get? So sometimes, at least have a standard in life, you get? When you're like, oh, it is not good to discriminate, no matter the, the, the physical uh, look or the, the educational background or financial status, you get some of us, we don't really care, you get, and that is very bad. That is so bad. It is not your fault that this person is broke. It is not your fault that this person is uneducated. It is not your fault that this person cannot dress nicely. It is not your fault. So sometimes try to be picky. Try to be picky. You get, don't lower your standard for anybody. Don't diminish yourself for anybody. Okay, hope you understand me now because I don't know why so many people did not understand that video because so many people thought, oh, okay, this person got married to my friend or something. Anyways, I'm going to put the title like, mm, he got married to my friend. You know, I have all these white women coming after me. Uh, they will like see the title and go do a video. Oh, her husband left her for her friend. You get, or they'll come to my Instagram. Oh, your husband left you for your friend. Oh my goodness. They will not even watch the video just from the title. You know, they'll go and start blabbing. This was like this block and unblock kind of thing. Block and unblock, block and unblock. Because I was just living in this fallacy that we were meant to be together. When I'll block him, he'll come back and start saying, oh, I miss you so much. Oh, we have history together. You know, just saying some kind of things. I love you so much. Oh, this, this, this. I kept on falling for it. And uh, I kept on going with the flow. I kept on satisfying this guy. You get, you know, it is the same thing with my ex. Like uh, the second person, I'm still going to tell the story. It is the same thing with him on and on block. And then they'll call, oh, this is this, unblock me, oh, I'm, I'm not going to do this. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm that kind of person. I'm a very nice person, very understanding, okay? You can be my friends, we can have normal conversations, we can laugh, you know, but don't bring the past. Don't tell me, oh, you miss me. You start talking about the past, you start talking about things we did. I don't want to hear it. I am not interested. Don't tell me. Keep it to yourself. We are done, we are done. So just recently, something happened. He came to me again as usual. Oh, I miss you so much. Oh, we have history together. You know, all this flirting kind of thing. And I was like, wait a minute. Ah, uh -uh. I don't understand, no. I am tired of this. You have, we have not seen each other for, for like years now, seven years. Why are you talking as if you just saw me yesterday? You get, and I was like, you don't even know how I look. You don't even know nothing about me. And he forwarded me some pictures. Goodness Lord, I was shocked. This guy still have my pictures. I could not even believe that I took such pictures, you know, because we had this distance relationship. So I really cannot put so much pressure on myself. So after he forwarded the pictures, I was like, God, I need to keep away from this guy. I told him, look, you're dangerous. I need to keep away from you. If you could keep this kind of pictures, it means that you are capable of anything. You have a woman in the house. You have kids in the house. But you're, you're still keeping pictures, such pictures of your ex, like, make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. So this guy, all this while, he has been keeping all these erotic pictures of me. So obviously, he has been fetishizing on these pictures. And that is why he will, like, contact me and try to, like, get the... I don't know how, how I can say it, you know? You know, like, looking at pictures and fetishizing on the pictures and then you call the person you know to get like this uh this satisfaction you know that is why he was always coming to me and acting romantically oh i love you so much i miss you so much and all that you get it is because of all the pictures oh my goodness that is why i will repeat again and again when you are dating somebody 
and you guys break up, delete whatever you are keeping, whatever messages or ah, you can keep the messages, no problem. But pictures, keeping the person's pictures is so appalling. You get, it is so appalling. Delete it. And I'm talking to the both of them. If ever, if ever they come across this video, delete my pictures. Stop keeping my pictures. The second person, obviously we are in the same country. So he doesn't have those kind of pictures of me because we are in the same country. I'm certain that he doesn't have such pictures of me. You know when you go to the restaurant with somebody, you know, maybe, yeah, restaurant, mall, anywhere, you know, with someone you're dating, you guys will like take pictures together, you know, you're trying to create memories and all that. Yeah, so he kept all these pictures and uh, he was folding me the pictures and I told him, delete my pictures. Why are you keeping my pictures? Why are you keeping my pictures? You are married to somebody else, having a kid. Why are you keeping my pictures until you are forwarding my pictures? I told him, you know, straight and forward. You know, there are so many girls out there. Their ex are married to somebody else and they are still opening their legs for their ex. I can't do that. Never, 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 never. I don't know why women do that. You allow these men to use you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Some of them are sick in the head. They are sick. Don't allow a sick man to come and use you. Yeah, so I hope you get me now straight and direct what I tried to, to say in the other video. You know, I choose to be like this and I'm happy. You get, I'm happy that I'm nobody's baby mama. God, I am nobody's baby mama. I am not sitting and calling any man. Oh, you need to, to, to take care of the child. Oh my God, I see this stuff all over Facebook and I'm like, God. You know, my dream was to get married half kid, not half kid before marriage. No, that was my dream. Not to half kid, then very soon tomorrow you guys break up, then you start calling the man. God, I can't do that. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I'm nobody's baby mama, you guys. Just imagine me sitting and calling a man, calling him when he's on bed with another woman. Uh, you need to send this for the for the kids. Oh, you're not taking care of the kids. Or maybe I'll be fighting all over Facebook like, how I'm seeing all these other girls are fighting. Oh, you have not done this for the kids. Which school fees did you pay? What did you do? Oh, gosh, I'm happy I'm nobody's baby mama. I'm happy. Goodness, 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 goodness. I'm happy I did not marry any of my ex. I'm happy, you know, because I sat down and analyzed every person I dated in my life. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm single. I'm single. I'm happy. You get, mm-hmm. So this year, this year I have like a lot of things to, to do. I have a lot on my list to do. And this is one of them. Being here is one of them. And I will fulfill. You get, I will fulfill. I don't care about any of my ex. These people come around and they are going through my Facebook to see if I have a man. You know, they are, they are checking. It's like they have this, 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 this momentum. You get, they have this, this, this inner peace. You know, because I'm single, I don't have a kid. Oh, they are so satisfied. They are so happy. You get, they are so happy. They have this inner peace. But these men are with, 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 with they are married. You get, they are married too. They are having kids too. But they are still going through, through my page to find out what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> oh, goodness, Lord. Goodness, Lord. Anyways, you guys, so I have been talking too much. What a rant. I have just been ranting and ranting and ranting. I think I have overstayed my welcome in this environment, so let me be on my way. You know, I'm a very plucky person. A very plucky person. But now, it hit differently when you know that your ex is keeping your pictures. Especially erotic pictures. It hits differently. And it is so appalling. This is non the sense. This is absolutely non the sense. Don't keep my pictures. Delete my pictures. Stop keeping my pictures. Whatever you're keeping of me, delete it. Whatever card or whatever I gave you, burn them all. Burn it. I am not interested. And I don't care how you're living your life. I really don't care. Oh, this place is so nice and people are coming to come and swim. Oh, it is so dark here, you guys. People are just going to look at me like, what is she talking about? This lady is crazy. 
Anyways, let me go a little bit forward and then we are going to talk. So right now I'm on my way home. I'm done. I don't want to put you post faces. You are turning and looking. They're very soon you turn and tell me, oh, 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 why are you filming us? It is always like that. You know, over here you're minding your business, filming and going. Then somebody will turn and be looking at the camera. Then come now and be saying, why are you filming me? Trouble. Anyways, I'm a very nice person. Don't mind all the rants. I'm a very nice person. <laughs> I have a lot of to-do list this year. So, I need to be very diligent in whatever I, I do. That is why the swimming, I'm not like, you know, the other people. You know, the other people. Anyways, they have a lot of time on their plate. They have a lot of money to spend. So when I go, I make sure I learn something. The other people, they just come and they are just making like that. And very soon they'll come and enter their car. Look at me, I'm trekking. You know. uh, wow, people are coming and entering cars and going. I'm here trekking. See, guys, I'm trekking. Then I have my Crocs. I bought this from, uh, from uh, City Sport. Okay, now, very soon I will be leaving this place and it's dangerous. They are going to snatch my phone. Since all man are thief man for the country, you don't even know who be who. So, let me end the video here. If there is anything more that you need to know, just let me know. I like to spill, okay? Stop looking at. Oh, God. I like to spill. Okay, so let me be on my way. Uh, do you want me to show you this environment? Let me show you. So, I'm in this environment. I'm trying to arrange my distance because anything can happen from now. And if they snatch it, trust me, these people will do nothing. They are used to. They are used to living like that. That if they snatch, it's like a normal thing. Are you serious? They collected somebody's phone. Here. They will not take it. You are where? Jesus Christ. Are you getting something that they just snatched somebody's phone here? Okay. 